everybody. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. And uh, every night she goes, are we going to do a live? I'm like, yeah, we're going to do a live. And then it gets to be too late. So we don't do it. And it almost you just got, got a notification that we're going live. Oh, yeah, I did? <laughs> yes. Thank goodness. <laughs> it reminded me. Oh, my goodness. Um, hi, Heather. Be the first one on. Terry, hi from Vermont. Um, hey, pumpkin. Gavin promptly went upstairs after we said we're getting ready to go live and started blasting his music. So, so we're right through the ceiling, right above our heads. So, we're gonna hope that goes. Um, so it's been a long time. It has. Literally every night, we're like, we gotta go live, we gotta go live, we gotta go live. Um, so I looked it up, and it was actually May 20th. <laughs> <laughs> I've been leaving you guys hanging. It's COVID. Nobody even knows what day it is. That's true. It's a pandemic. Um, so, hello, Michael, Andy. I can't, oh my God, look at me squinting. Lindsay, hi, and Kathy. Oh my God, I can't see. Hey, Corey. Um, so, so. And, and then our last post even was the one when you were running hills. That was on the 13th of June. Good God. That's almost a month ago. We are falling behind. Oh my God, we're sucking at this lately. Part so, of it is there's not that much to report, which is a good thing. I mean, there's a lot to report. That's not good. Let's be honest. <laughs> my fear of going live. We'll talk about that later. Yeah. Hmm. Um, She's calling me out. It's been steroid round two. St steroid brain, which was a good thing. Steroid rage, not such a good thing. Steroid bloat, not, like, not a great thing. <laughs> my, my cankles are. His cankles. <laughs> well, you can't see the bloat so much here because of your beard, but you got the, the dad bod. Yeah, the dad bod. It's hard. It's hard as a rock, though. So it's not. <laughs> it's not. The COVID-19, like people are calling <laughs> the 19 pounds they've gained during COVID. <laughs> it's not the COVID-19. It is about 20, though. Yeah. But, but I lost that. You, were, you had lost a lot. Um, hey, Andy. Woo-hoo. Hey, Lee. Lindsay. Oh, that's Lindsay, not Lindsay. So from a, a, an update standpoint. Yeah, how are you they, feeling, honey? I'm feeling good. Uh, so it's been, uh, you know, I was tracking the days, like your rebirth day number, blah, 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 rebirth day. I didn't do, hmm, that's why. I was going to do your rebirth day slalom skiing, but. That didn't work out so well. It didn't work out so well. No. This, yeah. So anyway. the Avastin, uh, which is this infusion that they've been giving me to help with the swelling, has been really working well. And then that they've been able to every take. Every two weeks. Every two weeks taper me off with the mm -hmm. steroids, which has been going well. And that allows me to sleep better, which helps for sure. So you tell, talk about your <laughs> your crazy steroid brain of not sleeping and getting up in the middle I of the night. I think we were talking about that last time. So well, that was the good last steroid time was brain. was May 20th, so oh, yeah, maybe, maybe not. not. So yeah, I was, I was sleeping maybe two, three hours a night and then getting up with like every solution to like the world's world, problems solving the world's problems and i had to get i have to have to get up mm -hmm. and i get up for like an hour or two hours and go write shit down and work for a bit and then i'd pass out again for another two hours and get back to sleep or but get I up got, and clean out the entire linen closet <laughs> and rearrange it yeah i was i was nesting or something. something but it was very it was very productive it was good from a work standpoint i got a lot of stuff done and when everybody else was sleeping. Yeah. Very quiet house. Quiet house and was working out in the morning. And mm -hmm. so I, I've never been a morning person, but I certainly turned into one. So that's what I called. Try to turn me into one. I called that would forget what steroid time it was. brain. Because it was just zooming the whole time. And he'd be texting everybody. Texting, texting, texting in the middle of the night, really. It's the ass crack of dawn at 4 o'clock in the morning. Four was late, actually. And four was late. And he'd be like, <laughs> like, oh my God, everybody else in the world is trying to sleep. Yeah, Stop texting them and me. I just had stuff in my brain I had to get out. So for those of you that I texted at 2.30 in the morning, I apologize. 
But we got a lot of shit done. We saw some thought. We saw some things. I don't know if we did. You did. <laughs> I was trying to sleep. Yeah. I'm just being mad. You are a little mad. You know I don't like to be awakened. No, you don't. It's just not good. It's not good. Um. And then we've had the lake. You know, we've, we've uh, done a bunch of renovation stuff at the lake, which has been a lot of work. But it's been very rewarding and a lot of fun to see some stuff come up and um, get to enjoy it. See see the changes going on over there. That's been good. Yeah. And you've been able to buy a lot of shit. I know. I do love shopping. You do. I do. It's really Amazon fun. and, and Etsy overstock. It's just been... <laughs> Etsy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Amish people love us. <laughs> the Amish. The Amish log wood making people... I don't know if they're Amish. Probably. Maybe. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, I am so, delirious uh, today. I've been, I've been feeling a lot better, especially after, you know, recovering from death. Death. Especially after said. dying. Uh, especially after <laughs> not being part of the living. Especially so after not, I not, died. Not it was a high bar. Nice <laughs> <laughs> after dying. Any kind of living is better. It was, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was back to, you know, wake surfing and slalom skiing. I started that about slalom. two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Got some new boots, which has been fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, things are going well. And I've got the MRI on Monday. First one. First one. Since the hospital. First real one, yeah. Yeah. So we'll see how that's going. We've, we're figuring the swelling has got to be down because my symptoms are way less. Swelling um, has to be down. So, you did the two weeks of radiation. So there could be some radiation stuff happening, necrosis uh, or whatever. Uh, that doesn't usually show up for a lot no. longer. But didn't it, doesn't radiation cause swelling though? So Again, it could be, but you're not having headaches from the swelling. And yeah, yeah, the headaches are going. Dialed back on. the. Oh, that's not good. Dialed back the. Um, steroids. Steroids to. What are you at now? I'm at uh, six in the morning and two milligrams, like at two o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. And you I were was at eight, eight, and eight. Eight, eight, and eight. Mm -hmm. so, so that was a tough one. You take eight, eight milligrams at like 11 o'clock at night, there's no sleeping after that. Yeah. That's where the steroid brain came mm -hmm. into play. Right. So, feeling good? You feel like the MRI is going to be good? I do. But you never want to have your hopes up. You know, you can think positively. Prepare them. Prepare. Yeah, always prepare. Think positive, prepare for negative. Right. Yeah. Okay. And the whole care protocol thing where they're, you know, doing this cocktail of, of drugs seems to be going well. There's no, I don't have a lot of side effects. So that's been good. Blood tests have been coming back pretty well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything's been good. It's crazy. Crazy how um, a few weeks makes from, a huge difference. Yeah, you go from you go from dead to swallow so skiing. <laughs> That's right. And running hills. Running hills. Which you don't like doing. No. Um, nobody likes doing that. But anyway, so we have been debating on this. There's been a legitimate reason we put this live off and. We've already alluded to it quite clearly as the steroid rage. It's so here's the, here's the thing that I think is important. You guys know that I like to be very transparent. We're not going to sugarcoat things, and um, not going to like the journey is the journey. The journey is the journey, and while it has been a journey, <laughs> while um, I, w I wanted to title this episode my love-hate relationship with steroids because steroids saved your life, but it also makes me want to take your life. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Let's all be very thankful that several episodes ago, I got on Prozac because <laughs> I think this whole roid rage situation has pushed my my Irish temper. 
I'm right a pretty to the level limits. guy. Like I, 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 I don't really have a, that bad of temper. I've never really exploded and always been able to kind of keep control over emotions that way. Well, you guys Any remember emotions. in the last live, he's very emotional. Very emotional with his tears. The tears went away. <laughs> and the, the rage, the rage is monster definitely there. came. Yeah. So, um, uh, so here's the thing though. It's very interesting. And I, so we had this debate and we're always like, do we tell people, do we say this, do we go there? I haven't really honestly, and I told him this the other day, I haven't dared to do a live with him because I even said it right before we started. I'm like, are you going to yell at me? Because everybody's going to see it if you yell at me. And I'm constantly telling the kids like, it's not dad, it's the medicine, it's the whatever. So it's a, it's a very real, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I'm very, I don't even have wine tonight. This is the problem. I'm so tired. I need to go to bed. Mm. Um, it's a very real part of this. And if you think about how many people you know that have cancer, like almost everybody knows somebody with cancer. And the chances that they're on steroids at some point is very high. And even we've even had our own history with steroids because of the kids with cystic fibrosis and it you know they were younger and it made them crazy it made them climb the walls and ah, crazy so this experience you know when you talk about people battling cancer or whatever whatever journey they're on that might include steroids and you don't think about it it is this last leg of this journey has been I think one of the hardest legs for me. It's been the hard, one of the hardest. I mean, obviously, it was hard when you died, um, but it was <laughs> short lived. <laughs> Your death was short lived. Oh, I woke up real quick. <laughs> yeah, it was. That day was awful, worst day of my life. But when you're constantly living with this rage in your house and like trying to keep everybody from falling apart and. <laughs> out of tears and you, I feel like you're just picking up the pieces of the bomb that's been I will say I, I understand you know your enjoyment of yelling now yeah he enjoys it so you know you you, you just feel it kind of building up and you just want to just let it go mm -hmm. and it feels like when you just yell at somebody and just scream at them it, it feels mm -hmm. like it's just a release it was therapeutic, it almost. Is. It is. I said, I, we talked about this the other day. It was like, because <laughs> we were finally speaking to each other again. Truth. It's been hard. <laughs> Real hard. Yeah. So we were talking about this, and I was like, well, before I learned how to control my temper, you know. And Prozac. I was doing better with my temper. I've been doing good with my temper for a long time. That's true. But it took work. But before, when I'd literally like punch a hole in the wall or kick a hole in the wall or throw things across the room, and I would say, I said to him, that's how you, that's how I feel. I feel like when you lose your temper, if you lose your temper, you know this, you lose your temper, it's like your stomach is like, and you just you get to the point where you can't control it anymore. And when you have that release, it's like, like I literally see red. I have that release and then you're just like, whew, okay, better now. But, and so I've explained that to him in the past. And, and so he's like, it does really feel a lot better once you can scream at somebody or do something and just let After it After you grow. do it, you're like, oh, that's not good. Uh, that's going to come back and bite me in the ass for sure. But you feel better for a second. Feel better for a second, but everybody else feels really like, bad. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> they've been destroyed one by one. Um, <laughs> so... Anyway, that's why I think for us it's important, for me, I think for you, every time we talk about something that's this part, somebody reaches out and says, oh, I'm glad you talked about that, or oh, I didn't know anybody else um, was going through this, or something, and that's one of the big reasons that we do this. We do this, we're documenting the journey, and we have it for our own selves, that's the main reason, but to share with everybody, update easily, another reason. So Lee says, uh, it's, uh, you know, Roid rage, but at least you're getting buff. <laughs> it's uh, actually different kind of it's, steroid. It's just bloat. It's, it's just not, bloat. It's I, not I, buff. I get none of the advantages. <laughs> no, he's just bloating. The only advantage I had is I was working out at four o'clock in the morning. 
uh, getting his workout done early from the lack of sleep. Oh. So anyway, I think this is important. For me, it's important to share this part of it with you guys because I don't know, you might be on steroids one day or you might know somebody who's on steroids now or know somebody in the future who's on steroids and <laughs> just remember, allow some extra grace because good God, man, it requires a lot of extra grace. A little extra patience every now and then. Yeah. So understanding. It's all right. So all that noise is the dog playing with bone, by the way. One of the dogs. One of the four dogs. Um, but it's, uh, it really, I mean, I think our finally came to a head when we really weren't speaking to each other when we were talking about Father's Day when he slalomed for the first time. I, in that moment, it got to, because I've, I've had very good grace through most of it. And I got to the point where, I'm going to say this, and I don't, you know it's not you, it's the meds, but I told you this the other day, that I literally had a moment where we were going out on the boat for Father's Day. Let me tell this story? Sure. Okay. Going out on the boat for Father's Day, he wanted to see if he was able to slalom ski, because, you know, the balance thing, he hadn't slalom skied. And um, so I got all this food to make a great dinner, found keto frozen drink recipes so he could have frozen drinks on the dock because all the frozen drinks have way too much sugar. And got him this cookware that he wanted that was non-toxic, Tara, Tara Slidell <laughs> was like, get some non-toxic. Pretty awesome pans. Yeah. yeah. Um, ceramic to make his omelets in the morning. And uh, I was on the boat with Gavin. I said, Gavin, oh my God, it's first thing in the morning. This is amazing. I thought this Father's Day was gonna be awful. I didn't think we were gonna have a father to celebrate this Father's Day. And here, Dad's out here psalm skiing. Like, what a, a day of gratitude. Like, we're so lucky. And he was like, yeah, it's amazing. I'm like, we just need to sit in this and be very grateful. And so it was me and Gavin on the boat. Everybody else is still sleeping. He's slalom skiing. Well, one thing leads to another. Even like the way I miscommunication. There was a miscommunication, and I ended up taking a hard fall uh, because of the miscommunication. And on the way back to the boat, I uh, just exploded, and I was like, "What in the hell are you doing?" Well, hold on, but I forgot to tell this part because I literally was in that moment. I was like, "Everything, I'm set up everything perfectly." That I literally was like, "We are going to make it through one whole day without him getting mad at us." We're gonna make it one whole day without him getting mad at us. We can do it. There's nothing can go wrong. And then it went wrong. And he lit my ass up so hard. Like Gavin was like, Dad, you know, he's trying to smooth everything out. I'm trying not to cry. And we're on the boat on this beautiful day and it's Father's Day and the thing just went to shit. It's just awful. Yeah. And then He's like, well, at least you pulled me up right. <laughs> so, it was not a good day. It was an awful day. The whole day was awful. And the whole week was awful because then I couldn't, I couldn't, we didn't really speak for the whole week. No. Was... Which is so dumb because then you're like, he has freaking brain cancer and why are we wasting any time being mad? But, good God, uh, we have been tested. So the good news is I'm tapering off of that. So that's getting back to pseudo normal, which has been nice. Oh, because I was going to say part of that, that day, I literally Gavin, when, when Gavin went slaloming and you didn't like the way I drove Gavin. And so I was like, fuck you, you drive the boat then. And she's allowed to say that though. She's okay with that. That's my norm. I, that is, I know. People are used to it. So, so that's what I get to, I get to, I've been dealing with that for like many, many moons. <laughs> right? Brandon, so here we go trying, again. Are you trying to get in a fight right now? No. Stop. Stop. So, anyway. Gavin gets on the boat. He's hugging me, like sitting like this. Like, it's okay, Mom. I was like, I am looking like a goddamn battered woman right now. I'm in an abusive relationship. <laughs> really. And it was such a moment for me where I was like, holy crap, this is, I, I am in an emotionally abusive relationship right now. 
which this is the last person in the world who would ever do that. And I'm the last person in the world that would ever allow an abusive relationship to happen. So I was like, what the fuck is happening? Ah! Steroids. Steroids. Stay away. So if you know someone who's on steroids or you're on steroids, Good luck. Or someone's acting out of sorts when they're normally a very even keel and they're tearing you, your ass up every time you turn around. Say, are you on steroids? <laughs> <laughs> or don't. They might punch you in the face. But <laughs> is there any chance you're on steroids? Anyway, that struggle is real, people, and I'm hoping he's going to be able to get off all of them. And I'm also hoping, I think it's happening. You feel more like you have more control over your emotions? Yeah. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I, I, I've had this fear in the back of my head that it was actually part of the, you know, some part, part of his of brain change. that changed and that I was going to, that was my, <laughs> Jojo, whoa, I came in an awkward time. <laughs> Jojo's witnessed it. And she's also witnessed the 4 a.m. wake up call with the kitchen banging around while he's making his omelets. Um, so, anyway, what was I just saying? Yeah, it's steroids and how hard it's been. Oh, that I thought it might be permanent. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was, I've been afraid that, oh my God, if this is his new normal, I mean, still better than death, I guess. I guess. Unless I have to go to jail because then I kill you. That wouldn't be better. That You're dead be better. and I'm in jail. That wouldn't then, be good. Then the kids have nobody. Then they have nobody. Gavin's raising the children. <laughs> that would be interesting. Legit, people. Legit shit. <laughs> Jojo, yeah, I have. Have you been yelled at, Jojo? Everybody else has. Did you ever yell at Jojo? You yelled at Hallie. I don't think so. You did. Um... <laughs> um, anyway, that's the steroid situation, but you do seem to have some, some better control of it now. So maybe because you're tapering down, you feel like you're going to explode all the time and you just learn to manage it or you just don't feel that anymore as much. I definitely don't much. feel it as much. Not even close. You definitely are still snappy. You still snap. A yeah, little. a little. And it still does feel good to yell, which is, that's a concern. I don't back down as easy. No, you don't, which yeah. makes that also challenging. Yeah. We have a role here. I get mad. I hold a grudge. <laughs> you don't talk to me for a couple days, and then you come around, and then you say, honey, come on, we got to talk about this. And then I'm like, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> Is that how it goes? And then you're like, come on, da, 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 and then we can get over it. So uh, when you don't do that part, you don't do your part, it just it keeps going on and on and on. And then when I try to do your part, and then you're like, well, you know you're a bitch, so that's why I'm acting this way. I don't know that I've ever said that. You implied. <laughs> you did say that you didn't like me. I, I said uh, the feeling's mutual. When you said you didn't like me. <laughs> you're not supposed to say that. You're supposed to say, yeah, you do like me. And Shut then it up. just gets better. Shut <laughs> up. You like me. And that makes it better. Not. <laughs> Keep it going. Doesn't work. Doesn't get better that way. No. You have your role. I have my role. It's worked for sort of most of 30 years. <laughs> Moments it hasn't worked. Moments, for sure. Anyway. That's that. That's that. So we got a uh, um, big day on Monday with the doctor's appointments and tests. I still and don't know if I can go out with you. No, we don't know. Stupid COVID. Yeah, COVID's definitely been a Stupid challenge. Um, and um, <laughs> I'm gonna need to switch roles, have some fun. It's not fun. It's not fun. No. I'm the spicy one, he's the even one. Yeah, and to add to that, we're swapping roles at the house also to a degree. That's been stressful. Oh, that's, or, a, that's a solid point. I only yeah. have 10% battery left. 
Um, yeah, you seem to notice that more. That seemed to bother you more. It did. Well, that's just because it was falling on me. Oh, that's bullshit. I'm not going to go there. That, I thought you were talking about something else. Oh. No. You're... That, mm, no. I literally work two days, and you're trying to act like you have to be a stay-at-home mom. Yeah. It was just things that, that, that um, I was not accustomed to doing. And I am thin ice. You see that look? That's the thin ice look. <laughs> We've had this conversation. Yeah. This is the part where you're not backing down. Let it go. Just let it go. It's not true. It's true in your own mind. Sure. <laughs> anyway. I think he wants me to be a stay-at-home mom again. Uh... Only if you want to be. <laughs> that was good. See that? You took a, a pause. Coming back. Took a pause. Instead of saying, well, if you were here, I wouldn't have to be doing all this shit <laughs> instead of you. Doesn't go over well. Anyway. We're working our way toward no steroids. And working our way toward good juju on Monday to have a good MRI and have it be clear. I mean, there's always a chance that the tumor's yeah. gotten bigger, but it's now been radiated. It's now getting a Vastin, and it's now being fed the cocktail, which ideally means control the swelling, control the growth, and then start going after the growth and reduce the size. That's the goal of those three things and then we're putting all three of those things together so hopefully that's what's happening all right that's what we're gonna that's what we're that's what we're banking well, on we're throwing out there to the universe yeah i'll do a reminder on sunday night or monday to go time to go time to put the juju out there that's what i'm gonna do um so what else i got nothing see what christian said can't be a stay-at-home mom they need me up there at Riverside. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you do. And I need to get the F out of this house sometimes. Sometimes. Every now and then. Gotta get the F out. That's true. Um, but anyway, also, Grace, because, whew, real talk for a minute, and then we're gonna wrap it up. Um, obviously, any kind of chronic illness, any kind of trauma or stress or anything, affects a marriage <laughs> amen we've had a few a couple we've had a, we've had a few big ones big ones um and so this is the latest one the latest test so <laughs> the um i don't know what i'm trying to make the point of the point is i just think grace grace just keeps coming into my mind grace just have grace with each other nobody Freaking knows what's happening with anybody. There's a lot of ugly in the world right now. Let me get on the soapbox for a minute. There's a lot of ugly in the world right you now. You get your soapbox on Facebook that you're doing. I right do. Now. I'm gonna. I'm starting a joy campaign. I'm there, starting there a is, joy there's campaign. There's a lot of. There's a lot of shipping thrown around. Handle there it. Sure. People are so mean. People are mean. Everybody's mean. I can't take it anymore. Find joy and find ways to make people happy. And if people are being ugly. Maybe they just have something going on in their life, or maybe if you just gave them a little grace and gave them a reason to be happy for a moment, you could t turn the tide. That's my goal. I'm trying to turn the tide on myself, because I feel like I'm drowning. Didn't you say you want to do three a day? No, well, that was yesterday. Oh. I'm, I, that was my goal yesterday, was to do, do three things that made a positive impact on somebody. And I did it. And it was awesome. So it does make you feel good when you do something for somebody else that's good. So it just keeps goodness rolling instead of ugliness rolling. You know, you see stuff on Facebook or whatever, and you get engaged, and you were like, how are people idiots? It doesn't matter why, what. I'm not even going to get into it. You know, you've all seen it. There are people, they just fight over everything. And right, wrong, or indifferent. It is what it is. All we can do is change ourselves. And my 
goal is to change myself into a more positive, joyful person and to help others find a little joy, however that can be. Just a little. And I'm gonna, that's my soapbox. So you just don't know. We've had a shit show going on up in here. We've had a whole 20 years of shit shows. Repeated <laughs> shit shows. Repeated. Just change the title. Change the it's title like of the shit. shit says. <laughs> what does it say? That's one of my favorite shirts. God gives, if God gives us what he thinks we can handle, he must think I'm a badass. Yeah. Clearly. Clearly. So, be nice. Oh, I was going to wear my new shirt. I'll have to wear it for the next one. I just got a really cool Be Kind shirt. I like, I like it. Be Kind? Multicultural Be Kind shirt. Oh, nice. It's really good. I like it. So, um, just be nice. Spread joy, not hate. Spread positive, not negative. You don't know how long you have in this world. We don't know how long you have in this world. Spend it being nice. That was the other thing that we, we uh, you know, we've had friends that, that have had friends of theirs get killed in like car accidents and heart attacks and all this stuff. And we're yeah. like, you know, we're struggling with this whole cancer thing and CF thing. And, but, you know, maybe we're the lucky ones because we get a chance to fight it or, you know, make a difference or make an impact while we're doing it. Where other people just kind of wake up one day and then, you know, and the then ticket's then, punched. And they're gone. Yes. I said it the other day, I said to somebody, I said something like, well, he said, how are you doing? I'm like, well, we're, it's a roller coaster. But at least there's still a roller coaster to ride. We're still on the ride. The right side of the dirt. You're on the right side of the dirt. <laughs> anyway, that's all. That's it. Love you. Love you too. Even when I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Such a bitch. Uh -huh. See, that's okay. You did it with a smile. Just say it with a smile. <laughs> it's fine. All right, y'all. Peace out. I'm going to bed. Yeah, bed. Be nice. Make somebody happy tomorrow. And the day after that. Bye, guys. Oh, my God. He just goes, bye.